Good day and welcome to Mission Control Houston, where the team of flight controllers is watching over the systems aboard the International Space Station and supporting the crew on board the space station. This is the first full week for Expedition 29 that includes Commander Mike Fossum, Flight Engineer Satoshi Furukawa, and Flight Engineer Sergei Volkov as they uh, continue to circle the globe at an altitude of about 230 statute miles now out over the uh, Pacific Ocean on a northeasterly track that will soon be taking them over North America. Today a very busy day on board the International Space Station for the Expedition 29 crew as they work through a variety of different uh, experiment activities. Uh, among the experiment activities today uh, were uh, some working with the uh, binary colloidal, colloidal alloy testing. Uh, this is a look at uh, colloids, which are things like uh, paint and other fluids where there are solids suspended within them. And this is part of what's known as binary colloid alloy test number five. We have some recorded video from that here. Uh, in this, the crew member photographs a mixed samples of microscopic particles that are suspended in liquids. And we're looking at how microscopic fluids suspend particles and how they separate from each other like oil and water over time in microgravity. Uh, there's potential applications for this in the near term for extending product shelf life on Earth and in space uh, for the long term in the development of the new generation of materials. Also on board today, the crew uh, was working with a LEGO experiment. Uh, that is a, a partnership between NASA and the uh, LEGO Bricks uh, company, uh, as they have sent up a series of different LEGO uh, kits. Today, the crew was uh, scheduled to build the Hubble Space Telescope using LEGOs. Uh, there are uh, a number of different models uh, in these different kits aboard the International Space Station for educational activities. And uh, so the crew got an opportunity to uh, uh, do a return to their childhood for a little bit uh, on orbit as they uh, built uh, uh, the Hubble Space Telescope, which has sent back some of the images and uh, data that have uh, transformed our understanding of the universe. Also today, uh, of course, the crew uh, working on uh, uh, taking uh, some uh, video of the Japanese experiment module known as Kibo or HOPE uh, as Satoshi Furukawa, the astronaut representing the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, uh, provided a tour. We'll have a little bit more of that video for you later. Uh, the crew also is going to be doing an educational activity on board uh, in the near future. And then they'll uh, complete their day with uh, exercise on the various uh, types of uh, workout equipment that are in the uh, space station's gym and the tranquility module, uh, including the advanced resistive exercise device, the uh, combined operational load-bearing uh, treadmill, the Colbert, uh, and on the uh, stationary bicycle in the Destiny Laboratory. A variety of different exercise work required every day by the crew members so that they can keep their bodies healthy for the work on orbit and also to get ready for the return to one gravity on Earth and stave off the effects of potential bone and muscle density loss that can occur uh, in the absence of gravity for the six months uh, periods of their stay. Crew on board the space station, uh, again, making their first full week after the departure of uh, Ron Garin, Alexander Samokotiaev, and uh, Andrei Borosenko last week, and uh, they're looking forward to the arrival of the rest, rest of the Expedition 29 crew a little bit later than had been planned. Uh, Dan Burbank, uh, Anatoly Venetian, and Anton Skaplarov are scheduled to launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan on November 14th and dock with the station on, space station on November the 16th. That'll all follow the October 30th planned launch of the Progress 45 resupply vehicle, uh, which is going to test out uh, uh, the engine systems that uh, were involved in a failure that uh, led to the loss of the Progress uh, 44 vehicle when it uh, lifted off from the Baikonur Cosmodrome on August the 24th. A uh, Russian commission determined the cause of that problem was uh, some debris in the fluid lines of the engines, and they're working to use uh, brand new build engines in the uh, uh, upcoming launch to avoid that problem. Meanwhile, uh, on board, there's one issue within the space station. The urine processing assembly has been temporarily shut down. Uh, the uh, fluid pump control assembly module uh, that uh, circulates fluids through that, uh, which eventually leads to the uh, urine being recycled for uh, drinking uh, water and other uses on board, uh, has uh, failed. And uh, they're looking at uh, the team here in Mission Control is looking at a uh, plan to uh, remove and replace that pump uh, upcoming on Friday and get the urine processing assembly uh, back to work. In the meantime, uh, the uh, urine is being stored on board on tanks so that it can be recycled for later use. This is Mission Control Houston.